When you come to Rockville City Hall, she is just one of the people there to greet you. But there's so much more to Connie Robinson. She's an educator of black history, and she uses her acting skills to tell the stories of abolitionists who helped so many along their journey to freedom through the Underground Railroad and other unsung black history heroes. It's the story of thousands of folks who went to the Underground Railroad for assistance. Sometimes they left on boats, sometimes they left on a railroad car, even a horse if it was available. They used whatever means possible in order to get to their freedom. Black History Month, I love it for a reason, the reason that if any time that we can get to tell those stories, to bring up our history, I want to use that time. A month, no, it's not enough. It's too much history to put into a month because we help build this country. We should be recognized. Our ancestors should be recognized. And I want our young people to get involved. I am determined while I am here for them to get to know as much of it as possible. So that once they feel that same pride and that passion, they will go around and tell the same stories. When they hear the stories of Mary Peck Bond, I want them to realize that these people, they didn't get um, awards and Nobel Peace Prizes. They didn't get acknowledged even. I wanted to portray a woman a businesswoman, that's what Mrs. Mary Peck Bond was. She was a businesswoman, but she was an abolitionist. And the more I read her stories, the more and more I learned about her papa, who owned three businesses in 1847, that was unheard of. I don't want our stories to be forgotten. I want our young people to know we have some stories to be proud of as well not just the horror stories of enslavement. I want them to hear the triumph stories. When we were coming up in high school, in elementary school, the things that we learned about black history, I wouldn't even call them black history. Those weren't the kind of stories that I wanted to learn about. Do you know that we came out of those chains, that we broke those chains, that we took those whips? Those are stories of resilience, determination, and pride to make us the people that we are today. When you read your history and when you study your history, that pride, that confidence, it comes. And this is what I want for our next generation, this generation to stand up and take pride in their legacies and in their history. Rockville to me is a very exciting place. Lincoln Park, Bill Street, there's so much history here and believe me, I am beginning to research it. Rose Wings, she was an abolitionist that my character, Mary Peg Bond, worked with. Her family was from Rockville. They were enslaved in Rockville. Their um, owner was one of the richest slave holders in the, this area. So there are so many interesting stories. I want people to know that we have such a rich, amazing history. Don't just remember Martin Luther King. Don't just remember Rosa Parks or Harriet Tubman. Remember Mary Peck Bond. Remember some of those other people that deserve their stories to be carried on with pride and with dignity. We were a determined people. Education was so important to us. And I want this young generation to know education is truly freedom. Without education, without employment opportunities, without jobs and um, recreation opportunities, life doesn't mean a whole lot.